Chapter 15 The Magic of Right Habits Habits make you the person you are. So, unless you find yourself radiantly well, fascinating, prosperous, able to work magic and live gloriously, why not alter them now? As a psychologist and magician, the habit of perfection should be your first aim. Poverty is the result of wrong habits of thinking. You cannot have a negative vocabulary and expect to be anything else but poor. Poor in health, poor in looks, poor in pocket. To break this habit, which can never bring out the magic in your mind, first cultivate a liking for positive words. Concentrate upon them and use them. Having begun to like positive words, you become word conscious. And when you are word conscious, you no longer use the words of a pauper. The world owes you nothing, nothing but a chance. This is your chance, your wonderful chance to break a bad habit and start using words that will bring magic into your life. Forget the mistake that you have been making in the past. Think of the opportunity that now presents itself to you the habit of speaking positive words that awaken the sleeping magic in you. Discipline yourself to keep your words positive. You have been spending more time looking at the negation about you than you have been spending in positive thoughts. The truest satisfaction, the deepest joy, the highest form of magic comes from words spoken in a positive spirit. All the knowledge in the world will not bring magic into your life unless you get into the habit of speaking only the right words. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word. The word is the important thing. The vibration behind the word. The word of Elias changed the waters so that they were made to carry iron across their surface. The word of Moses divided the Red Sea. Like the drunken Rip Van Winkle in Jefferson's play, who excused himself for every mistake by saying, I won't count this time. You may not count it when you are negative, just this once, but it is, it is being counted all the same. Your subconscious counts it, registers it, stores it up, and uses it against you when the next wrong word is spoken. Nothing you ever say is wiped out. If it is the wrong word, it is used against you in stopping the magic you want. If it is the right word, it is used to your benefit by bringing you the much near, by bringing you that much nearer your magic goal. Your habits follow you, surround you, envelop you. As time goes on, the possibility of breaking a bad habit becomes more and more remote, until at last it is well nigh impossible. If you are not working magic for yourself, recognize right now that you are speaking and thinking negative words. As time goes on, any such transition as a, ma as a ma magic life becomes less and less likely. Unless this terrible habit is halted soon, once and for all, you will experience irretrievable disaster. And in this hell of your own making, you will have no illusions. You will be aware that you wrote off the magic in your mind when it might have been yours. You will know that you could have had the magic transformation of Cinderella or Aladdin, but that you flung it away. The man who walks finally away from the magic that could be his walks at last into fire, the fire of his own hell. Every now and again the sunlight will break through in one place or another and you will behave in a more constructive manner. You will use positive words, but it will be spasmodic unless you determine to make right words a daily habit with no kind of wavering. Don't let your mind be overshadowed or you will become feeble as a result of your bad habits. Be aware of them and clear the way for your subconscious to work for your good. The crucial step that makes all the difference must be your own. Right habit formation will bring you magic every time. From this moment onward I want you to see yourself as you really want to be. Charming, prosperous, optimistic. Break down the habit of seeing yourself as someone who can accomplish nothing spectacular. Don't just wish. Do something. 
because action is necessary no matter what habit you desire to break. But I'm too old to break it now, you see. There you go, negative, negative, negative. I know that habits are at a very dickens to change, but some sacrifice and more action will do the trick. Don't make a trifling effort, make a gigantic determination. This fellow had begun to interest me, you say, but what he wants me to do is the impossible. I can never do it. The word never should never be used in magic, except in the phrase, you never know. No, you never know. You never know what you can do until you begin to try. I passionately repeat, you must break your bad habits. To live on a new plane and we are aiming at the highest, you must acquire new habits. You must become enthusiastic. Your manner of speaking must indicate authority. Your thinking must be dynamic. Close your eyes and picture the new you and break the habit right now. Like that, you will enter a new life full of magic. One of the best habits to make is to get up early in the morning. Progressive people who make fortunes all get up very early. For many, the day starts at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. It is a habit with them and one of the finest. You are not flying blind. All you are or shall be depends upon your habits. How about your health? Are you making right habits there? The right habits will increase your health and energy amazingly and will send you towards fitness and leaps and bounds. To an extent which will astonish you, your subconscious actions are directed by your daily habits, by what you do and think each day. Your lips may say, I want a fine physique, radiant health and a buoyant tread. But if your subconscious mind knows from your daily habits that as a matter of fact you are really more interested in smoking heavily, taking the wrong drinks and never exercising in the open air, then that is what you will get. Your underneath mind carefully weighs all your words and actions. It puts two and two together and if your words and actions are not congruent in harmony, you will never attain a strong bronzed body and springy step. So be careful about your health habits. Fan the flame of your worthwhile habits. Those occasions when you woke into the winter to practice deep breathing and that memorable day when you got up a little earlier and took a brisk walk over the hill with the dog before breakfast. Fresh air is invigorating and drives your subconscious mind irresistibly to seek more and more joyous exercise. More and more fresh air in its efforts to secure for you that strong, healthy body for which you have long craved. You cannot break a habit by affirming I won't do so and so anymore. You will not make much progress if you say I won't. Deliberately prepare a new and an infinitely more desirable radiant health habit. Say what you will do. That's the thing. You will join the gym club with Bill. You will take your dog for a brisk walk before breakfast every morning. You will eat salads and whole meat bread. Although the book Wheat Belly is well worth reading. And study the right foods. Despite the ridicule of those your fellow creatures who know little or nothing about radiant living. Impress your mind with what you are going to do. Straighten your neck, tense your muscles vigorously and breathe fully and deeply, rhythmically, as you vow that you will be the master of your life and work magic. It is absolutely essential to adopt a schedule and to drum these new radiant health habits you are going to practice into your ears and eyes. There is no easy, haphazard road to health. It has to be deeply concentrated upon and worked for. Anyone who promises you an easy road to health is leading you down a blind alley. Personally, I highly recommend aimprogram.com aimprogram.com self-explanatory. Visualize yourself as being bronzed and physically fit and handsome. Fix a picture of some beautifully figure you admire in front of you as you exercise and concentrate on having a similar body. Think of the life-giving fresh air reaching your lungs as you breathe more fully. You will begin to feel, I can do great things. I am somebody. Write down the things you are going to do in order to retain new vitality and radiant health. Write them on paper, white paper, blue ink. Keep a little notebook for the purpose. Read them every day. Think them. 
dream them, act them, be them, be, do, and have, until these radiant health habits dominate and govern your life. Drive the idea of sunbathing, air bathing, muscular development, massage, non-smoking, deep breathing, right diet and other necessary habits for health into your mind daily. Through as many different senses as possible. Write them out. Brackets muscular eye impressions. End brackets. Read them out aloud. Brackets muscular impressions through the lips, eye and ear impressions. End brackets. Act them out. See yourself joining a health club. See yourself exposing your body each day to fresh air and sun rays, real or artificial, if only for a quarter of an hour. See yourself with a strong, fun, bronzed body, charged full of energy and power. Collect pictures of handsome, nude and semi-nude men and women in poses that depict superb beauty and radiance and focus your attention upon these pictures continually, determined to be like unto. With all the conviction and determination you can muster, swear by all that you ever hope to achieve that nothing will contend you. Nothing will content you but a vision of yourself as radiantly fit and perfect as the pictures you so ardently admire. The best habit of all, and one which makes good habits, graciousness and beauty and mathematical certainty, is the habit of holding unwaveringly in your own mind only those mental pictures and patterns which you wish to become true in your life. What you focus on, you become. Earl Nightingale, you become what you think and feel good about most of the time. Repetition is absolutely essential. As far as habits are concerned, it is repetition which establishes them. Repeat over and over and over again things that you desire, until they finally become fixed in your mind and heart, a guiding, controlling impression in your mind, leading you onto the radiant health and beauty and all the magic you wish. Let us recap on some of the things I have said. Have you established belief or are you still in doubt? Is sleeping with your head to the north a habit which you know? Have you got into the habit of crossing your legs and closing your hands, folding your arms when you want to cut off bad vibrations? Do you visualize all that you want every day and is it a daily habit with you to look at the pictures of these in your dream book or dream board on your bedroom wall. Remember I told you to paste pictures in a book. Have you made filling your rooms with flowers a habit? And what about good music? Do you hear music every day? Is going into the silence a habit yet? Don't put it off a day longer. It should be a regular habit to go into your retreat and think. Silence, stillness and solitude. Are you on speaking terms with your subconscious? And do you listen for guidance? If you have not made this a daily habit by now, you will never bring out the magic in your mind. How about love? Is this a very real part of your life? Do you send out thoughts of love each day? And are you now in the habit of loving and blessing your enemies? Do you tithe? Whenever you get money, do you make it a habit to put 10% aside for the benefit of the sick and the poor? Is the law of riches well remembered? And as you use your money every day, are you in the habit of blessing it? What are you doing about colour in your life? Is it a habit with you to always wear something bright? And have you changed the dull things in your home to colour so that you may have the benefit of high vibrations? What about the habits of making new friends? How many new friends have you made since you began to read this book? All these things must become right habits in your life if you want to work magic. Make a habit of picking up this book every day and rereading a portion of it, space repetition, to impress your subconscious. Even if you think you can remember all that has been written, still read again, for it is repetition that makes for success, the continual hammering away, tap, 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 so that it becomes your most precious habit of all. You want to work magic? Work for it. Every hour, every minute, in the daily habits of your life. You have a golden opportunity, don't throw it away. If you were in the habit of seeing me on stage or television, I am very glad. I like to baffle you. 
extract from the bulletin. Quote, but if you've seen Al work on TV or the stage and been completely puzzled, don't worry too much. No less a person than the late Professor Einstein failed to find out it's done, how it's done. Unquote. The professor was fascinated by a demonstration I gave him in London. 